Hey everyone, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're doing onion root tip mitosis. You're going to need everything you see right here, most notably boiling onions with the roots growing. We'll talk about that in a moment. Some fixative and aceto orsian stain. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your onion roots growing. Remember, it takes about 72 hours for the roots to grow as long as you're going to need them. Take each individual pearl onion or boiling onion, put about three or four toothpicks in it as shown, and suspend the bottom half into this is just simple tap water. Given time, those roots should grow. These are about halfway to the length we're looking for. So be sure and give it a couple of days before you're ready to do this lab. Once the roots are finished growing, we're going to use some scissors and we're going to harvest about two to three centimeters from the very tip of the roots and we're ready to move on to the fixative. The fixative setup should look something like this. Your test tubes will have the fixative solution in them. Remember fixative is nine parts 45 percent acetic acid to one part one molar hydrochloric acid. Mix that up and then put two to three milliliters in each test tube. The test tube should then be in a warm water bath to keep them warm so that when we put our sample into the fixative for six minutes, the fixative will do its job properly. Once we're finished with the fixative, we're ready to dump our sample out. So we'll take our test tube out and we would dump it into the top of a petri dish or a wash glass and then use the forceps to take the now softened sample out and we're ready to put it onto a slide. Once we have it on the slide, we're ready to cut off the very tip. Remember the cells at the tip are the ones that are dividing the most. So we'll take about two millimeters, two millimeters from the very tip of the root and discard the rest. Once we've cut off the tip, the next step is to do the staining. Acetoorsian stain is what you need so that you can visualize the chromosomes properly. So what we'll do is we'll take a drop and put one drop right on top of our tip. That needs to sit for about a minute to soak in. Once a minute has passed, we will rinse. Remember to squirt the water above the sample. You do not want to squirt the sample off of our slide and just give it a good rinse. Remember to do that over the sink. The next step is going to be flattening our sample. So take a cover slip or you can use the tips of your forceps or you can use the tip of a scalpel or anything else but the important thing is to get it squashed. So press down firmly with one finger to flatten the sample and then we're going to do one more drop of stain. Let that sit for another minute. We're going to rinse one more time and we're ready to put our cover slip on for good this time. Lay down one edge first to minimize the bubbles and we're ready to visualize underneath a microscope. Good luck.